Welcome to Neural Vibrations. Today we are going to explain a phenomena that lies at the heart of countless science fiction theories due to its seemingly magical nature, quantum tunneling. Let's begin with a question. Imagine you're walking along a trail and up ahead is a steep hill blocking your way. You pause and think about how you'll get to the other side. Will you climb over the hill, find a way around it, or maybe turn back altogether? In the everyday world, these are the kinds of choices we make based on the physical limits of energy, effort, and practicality. But what if I told you that in the quantum world, there's another possibility? What if you could simply appear on the other side of the hill without climbing over it or going around, like slipping through the hill itself? This strange phenomenon called quantum tunneling is not magic but a direct result of the rules that govern the quantum realm. Today we're going to explore how this happens and why it makes sense, even if it challenges our intuition. Along the way we'll connect it to a deep guiding principle in physics, the principle of least action, and see how tunneling reflects the universe's natural tendency toward balance and efficiency. First, let's step back and talk about the principle of least action. In physics, this principle is one of the most elegant ideas we have. It tells us that when a system evolves, whether it's a planet orbiting the sun, a beam of light refracting through water, or even you deciding how to get to the other side of that hill, it does so in a way that minimizes or more precisely extremizes a quantity called action. Action is a measure of how much energy and time are used during the system's motion. Simply put, nature seems to prefer the path of least resistance, the most efficient way to connect two points in space and time. In classical physics, this principle explains almost everything we observe. For example, light bends when it enters water because it's finding the quickest way to reach its destination, even if that path involves changing direction. Planets orbit in ellipses because those are the shapes that minimize energy while maintaining motion. This principle gives us a way to understand the world as beautifully ordered and predictable. But the quantum world doesn't always play by the same rules. When we zoom in to the scale of particles like electrons or protons, things start to behave in strange and surprising ways. Particles don't follow single, clean trajectories like planets or beams of light. Instead, they act more like waves, spreading out and exploring all possible paths at once. If you throw an electron, it doesn't just travel in a straight line, it also considers zigzags, spirals and loops, sampling every possible route from point A to point B. This is where the principle of least action takes on a deeper, more probabilistic meaning. In quantum mechanics, particles explore all paths, but not all paths are equally likely. The paths that align closely with the least action, the most efficient ones, contribute the most to the particle's behavior. The less efficient paths still contribute, but their influence fades into the background. It's as if the quantum world allows for creativity and exploration, but with a preference for efficiency. Now let's bring this back to our hill, or more specifically, a barrier. In classical physics, a barrier is exactly that, an obstacle that blocks motion unless you have enough energy to overcome it. For example, a ball thrown at a wall will either bounce back or, if it's thrown hard enough, break through. But in the quantum world, particles don't play by those classical rules. Instead of being strictly blocked by the barrier, a quantum particle behaves like a wave that leaks into and through the barrier. Even if the particle doesn't have enough energy to climb over, there's still a small chance it will appear on the other side. This is quantum tunneling. It happens because, in the quantum world, a particle's wave function, its mathematical representation, doesn't stop abruptly at the edge of a barrier. Instead, it extends into the barrier and even beyond it. The farther it goes, the more the wave function's amplitude decreases, making tunneling less likely for thicker or higher barriers. But crucially, the probability never drops to zero. So why does this happen? Here's where the principle of least action ties in. Quantum tunneling reflects the system's natural tendency to seek equilibrium, the most stable, balanced state it can achieve. 
When a particle is stuck on one side of a barrier, tunneling offers a way to bypass the obstacle and move toward that state of balance. The system as a whole, particle, barrier, and environment, follows the rules of quantum mechanics, which allow for paths that are impossible in classical physics. One of the most fascinating examples of tunneling is found in the Sun. Deep in its core, hydrogen nuclei collide at incredible speeds. These positively charged particles repel each other, and the energy required to overcome this repulsion, called the Coulomb barrier, is enormous. Classically, the Sun shouldn't shine because the hydrogen nuclei don't have enough energy to fuse. But thanks to tunneling, the nuclei can bypass the barrier and fuse anyway releasing the energy that powers the sun and, by extension, life on Earth. Tunneling isn't just a curiosity of nature. It's essential to the functioning of many technologies, from transistors in your smartphone to scanning tunneling microscopes that let us see individual atoms. It's a reminder that the universe is far more flexible and creative than our classical intuitions suggest. So when we think about quantum tunneling, let's not see it as a violation of the rules, but as a deeper, more subtle application of them. It's a testament to the idea that the universe is not only governed by principles like least action, but also enriched by the quantum creativity that arises when particles explore all possibilities. And in that exploration, we find a kind of poetry, a balance between the constraints of classical physics and the freedoms of the quantum world, allowing nature to achieve what might otherwise seem impossible.